Each year there are approximately six to eight students who spend long periods of time out on both Great Duck Island and Mount Desert Rock, two to three months. At the same time, they're visited by students, other staff, and other faculty who have shorter term projects that mean that they're out there for a day, two days, a week. And living and doing independent research on an island with a collection of other students and with a faculty mentor is a very, very special experience. Part of what drew me to COA was the fact that they push hands-on learning. I feel, feel like there's a type of learning that you can do behind a desk with a professor talking to you about certain theories and ways of experiencing ecology, but that's going to be completely different than going out into the field and trying to conduct that research yourself. Mount Desert Rock is the most remote lighthouse on the eastern seaboard of the United States. It's about 26 miles offshore in a truly pelagic environment. The closest point of land is 12 miles away and it's barely a few acres large. You never really know what you're going to get. The ocean will, will dictate what's going to go on that day. People always ask me what we're going to do tomorrow and I say I'm going to get up and look out the window. A lot of the projects revolve around the daily survey schedule. So we're surveying the biological life, seals, seabirds, marine mammals that might be passing around um, throughout the day. And so there are watch schedules which dictate um, uh, the sort of course of the day, but then students break off on individual projects which might range from a lot of different sorts of things, creative projects or specific science interests. And so really the, the, the possibilities are only limited by one's creativity. You know, no, no better opportunity to sort of immerse yourself in the beauty of a place than to, to live in basically a, a big nature preserve. <laughs> Spending two or three months out on an island in the middle of the Gulf of Maine is most definitely a transformative experience. Um, and yes, they come back with new uh, intellectual questions, uh, they come back with new intellectual skills, but they also come back transformed as, as people. And that change, that aha moment, that profound nudge in a student's intellectual experience, that's really what we're looking for. And that's, that's part of the special sauce to the College of the Atlantic.